ideology about how people ought to be judged and how they ought to be perceived. But, but I'm glad that God's ways are not like our ways. Uh, and this, all, this is good for every man in the house today. Amen, somebody. And we can learn much from David, much about David, much about this man after God's own heart if we'll just check out the book of Psalms. He opens up his life for everybody to examine. He, he, he talks about the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, but the good news is he shares with us how God treated him after he got his act together. We've all been there, amen. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Lest, lest you forget, lest you forget, you got some stuff in the closet as well. I forgot to mention him. I like this fellow, David, because uh, he just opened the closet door and let everything fell out. Have I got any help? Y'all ain't gonna help me in here. Uh, hallelujah, somebody. I, I, I'm glad that God chose him as a man after his own heart. The struggle is, is that how can God do this? That's the struggle. How can a righteous God, how can a just God, how, how can an unblemished God do this? How can he choose David of all people as a man after his own heart? Still in it with me. Hallelujah, somebody. But, but if you check out, if you just take a look at uh, the book of Psalms, the fact of the matter is, when you look at his life, it's a portrait of success and failures. It's a portrait of triumphs and tragedies. Hallelujah. It's a portrait of the ups and the downs that were in his life. And the scripture highlights the fact that David was far from being a perfect man. Hallelujah. I want all the perfect men in here to stand up today. Hallelujah. Let me troll the deal in here. All right. <laughs> All right, sir. <laughs> we'll go with that one. We got one in the crowd. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. But 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 David had his periods uh, uh, of of, of Ingrid's weaknesses in his life. He had his periods of mistakes. He had his periods of sin as he sinned with Bathsheba. He had his periods, yes, he murdered Uriah and he, he was not the idea uh, father if you read the scripture uh, and even his own son wanted to take him out. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah, he, he had some issues. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I'm still, you know, you got to wrap your head around. I'm trying to help somebody. How can God do this? Yeah, how, what, what from God to choose King David as a man after? Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. Y'all still in a good thing? Yeah, yeah, the man has some flagrant sin. Hallelujah, somebody. But don't we all? Everybody may not know about them, but yeah. Yeah. have I got some help in here? Yeah. Yeah. We all have some flagrant stuff yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that everybody may not know about. The problem is, is what have you done about it? Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's, that's where the catch is because, yeah, because there is a remedy, there is some help. That there is a, that something that will uh, clear the record with God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. And when God forgives us, he, he, and then he, he puts it away as far as the east is from the west. 
I don't know how far that is, but it seems like it's a mighty long way. Yeah. 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 Have we got some help in the house? Yeah. Yeah. And so, so, so the, the question still is, how can God do this? Right. Uh, the matter involving the difficulty is, how can God describe David as a man after his own heart? God help me in here today. Yeah. Good God from Zion. I'm, I'm glad that, you know, men are not the judge. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad human beings, I'm glad people are not the judge. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah, because because if if you were on the bench, yeah. if, if you were the judge, and if you were part of the jury, yet yeah, some of us, most of us, all of us would be out of gas. Hallelujah, somebody. And so, so, so we, we look at this. I want to bless somebody. I want to bless the men of God today. I want to bless the fathers. I want to bless the grandfathers and the godfathers. I want to bless all of the men today from this passage because sometimes we, we hold ourselves down because of the blunders that we've made in our lives. Hallelujah. Show me a man that has not made a blunder, and I'll show you a man that has not been alive. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. And, and, and sometimes we get locked down. We, we bound ourselves up because of, of the blunders or the mistakes or of the things that we have done in our life journey. But you got to tell the devil, hold up, wait, hold up just one minute. Hallelujah. Because I've heard about a God that has all the power in his hand. And I understand that there's nothing we can't praise him like because we got ourselves bound up. We don't feel worthy to give him the glory, give him the privilege, but the devil is alive. Hallelujah. David discovered something, and that's, that, that's why he, he said, you know, I need to tell somebody about the goodness of the Lord and what he has done for me. And if he did it for me, he can do it for you. Hallelujah, somebody. And, and so here's, here's, here's some things that David did about his blemishes that he did. I'm almost done. Amen, somebody. Amen. Yeah, but this this is what this is one of the things that impressed and we still got that, that, that question mark in the back of our minds. Yeah, how could God do this? What impressed God so much so about David that he chose him as a man after his own? What what impressed him? Look at David and ask him, what what impressed God about David so much? Hallelujah, son. Well, one of the first things is that, that David uh, was a man of godly humility. Yeah. Hallelujah, yeah. somebody. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, godly humility. And, and I know we're macho. I know we, we're macho. Come on, somebody, brothers. I know we, you know, we, we, we men, you know, we, yeah, we don't cry and we don't break down and, and all that. We, we, we're men. Hallelujah. But, but here's a man. Hallelujah, that had godly humility. Have yes. I got some? This, yes. this, this put an impression on God because, see, God don't, when they were looking for a new king, they, they, they were looking at the statue. They called all the other brothers in. Yes. Samuel, do you have another son somewhere? Yeah, yeah, he's out in the field. He's tending the sheep. Yeah, he's, he's just a ruddy little fat. Bring him in here. Yeah. I, 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 I need to anoint him. I, I, I got some work for him to do. Have I got anybody in here? Just nudge somebody and tell them God does not look on the outward. He looks on the inward. That's what humility is. Humility has to do with a man, a regulated inner purpose, a perspective from your heart. Inside. Inside. That, that's where humility comes from. 
Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. You can be macho and still be humble. You can be strong and mighty and courageous. Yeah, but God is impressed by your humility. So he wasn't just looking at how strong he was. How how well built he was, ladies. God, God wasn't looking at his six pack and his biceps and his triceps and all of that. He wasn't looking at all that. He looked in his heart. Y'all missed that. Y'all don't want to help me right there. And most the time, yeah, yeah, when, when we're looking, yeah, yeah we, we, we don't look at uh, the heart. We look at the outer structure. Say, um, about six two, six three, somewhere around in there. That's all we talk about, right? Y'all right. right. quiet on me then, huh? Yeah, what's what's that st stray ham? He's pretty big, pretty, pretty big fella. We talk about him. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 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 so we look at the outward man, but God looks at the inward. Hallelujah, somebody. He, he looks at the inner motives of the heart. Yeah. Good God from Zion. Hallelujah, somebody. I, I, I like that. And so humility, watch, through humility, David was unafraid to admit to God his transgression. Yeah. Hallelujah, somebody. He was humble enough. He was walking close enough with God. Yeah. To say, you know what, I messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And nobody's fault but mine. And I'm gonna talk to the Lord about it. Right? I don't have to talk to nobody else about it. It's between me and the Lord. And his heart was broken by his lapse in his spirituality. Yeah, and, and the Lord loves a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Hallelujah. Yeah, the word says, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord. All right, all right. Yeah, and he shall lift you up. So sometimes, amen, instead of being macho, yeah, yeah, God, macho. Me I'm going to preach on this side over here. Yeah, yeah, if we humble ourselves, God will lift you up. Yeah, yeah, out of the muck and the mire that we may sometimes get ourselves stuck in. Yeah. Have I got some help with you? That's word right there. James 4 10. He, he tells us that. Amen. And then in 1 Peter 5 and 6, he said, Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty power of God, that he might lift you up in due time. But you got to grind yourself around on that, to the point where you know what? I got to do something about my situation. Y'all still in there? Y'all gonna help me in here? Amen, somebody. Yeah. yeah, watch this. Yeah, yeah, David, David talks to God from the heart. Yes, he does. Run, run over Psalm 32. I'm, I'm, I'll get you out of here. Hurry, I know we got, yeah, they're taking us out for steaks today. Everybody, all the men, I know all our family's taking us out for steaks. I'm happy now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Psalm 32, watch this right here. Yeah, I, I, I like this, brother. See, see, probably sometimes we get too many folk involved in our mess. Yeah. If you tore up from the floor, yeah, sometimes the folk that you're talking to are in worse shape than you are. Macho, All right. and you can handle it by yourself. Yeah. Oh. I handle this on my own. Watch what David says. He he blesses he blesses us right here. Watch this right here. See, God was impressed by this brother right here because verse three says, "When I tried to be quiet, yeah. when when I tried to handle it yes. on my own, yeah. oh, oh. help me in here, somebody." Yeah. Yeah, when, when I when I try, the New Living Translation says, when I refuse to confess.
confess my sins. That my body wasted away and I, I groaned all day long and all night because your hand was heavy upon me for my discipline. Y'all still in there with me? Yeah, 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 yeah. My strength left me and, and as the summer heat does with water, he said, but I confess. Verse number five. Yeah, I, but when I confess, and, 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 and the NIV or the, the King James says, when I acknowledge, when I, when I confess my sin, are y'all still in there with me? Yeah, to you, not not to everybody, not on Facebook, not on Instagram, yeah, not not on text message, anybody. That be yeah, it, it wasn't on the internet. I, when I confess my sin to God. Watch the results and watch the results. Yeah, you, 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 you look at him. And I stopped trying to hide my guilt. He says, you forgave me. Yeah. Don't have any forgiven brothers in here. That's all we got. Look, somebody, if you're forgiven, then tell them I'm forgiven. I'm forgiven. Get them on the other side and tell them I am forgiven. There's nothing wrong with that. You ain't got to tell nobody what he forgave you about as long as you know that you've been forgiven. Yeah, you look at me strange if you want to because I'm praising God. Yeah, but you don't know the song says you don't know what he's done for me. He gave me the victory. so much and that's why God was so impressed by David because David had a humble spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. You can't tell nothing about folks by looking at them. Amen. God won't sin in, in my heart. Y'all stick with me. I got to get out of here. I got to get you out of here. A a amen. I don't want your steak to get cold. Amen. Somebody. Yeah, he, he, he said he, he, he forgave me of all of my guilt and now it's gone. So you ain't got no business on lockdown. Yeah, God released you. Yeah, when he saved you. When you went and talked to him about what was going on. And you're like, are y'all going to help me out in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you, when you manned up. Man up. Man up. When you manned up. Yeah. 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 And say, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, I, I messed up. Yeah. Yeah. God got a kick out of that. Amen. Yeah, yeah he, he likes a humble spirit. Are y'all still in there with me? Watch this. The humble heart is what did it. Amen. And this is what he did. He did about all of his flaws, all of his shortcomings, all of the stuff that he had gone through. He, he again took it to the law. That's why I like that, that song that we sing about what a friend we have in all of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a privilege. To carry everything. Yeah, you see, you got to learn how to just talk to him. You ain't, you ain't got to be fancy when you talk. Just, just tell him all about your troubles. Come on, somebody. Tell him what you're going through. Tell him how thankful you are. You don't have to pray like nobody else. You just pray like you pray. Hallelujah, somebody. Yeah, yeah, and so, so this is one of the things that David did that impressed God, amen, somebody. That David tried to be macho. Huh? Tried to handle stuff on his own. Tried to be cocky, tried to be manly, tried to be ultra-masculine. But the thing broke it down. Can't handle it no more. I got to talk to the Lord about it. Have I got somebody in here? I'm tired of tossing and turning all night long. Have I got somebody in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen, somebody. Am I talking to anybody in here? 
that has come short. You come short. You feel like you come short as a father figure. You feel like you come short as the ideal dad. You feel like you've come short as the ideal husband. Talk to the Lord about it. Hallelujah, somebody. God's not going to judge you exclusively on your valley of failures. Just because you've been down in the valley, he's still a forgiving God. That, that, that's, that's what I like about Christianity. Come on, somebody. Yeah, yeah, see, the Lord couldn't do it for me. But oh, when Jesus went to Calvary, Says, yeah, yeah, if you sin, then you ought to be taken out and killed. Yeah, yeah, right. but, 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 but thank God for grace and mercy. Yeah, that, 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 that's what brought David through. That's what brought him through. His grace and his mercy got him where he needed to be. Yeah. Somebody yeah. doesn't know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah, somebody. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Amen. 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 So before we before we put our mouth on, on David, we need to check our records. Make sure we got it straight. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, because see, see, maybe, maybe, maybe your sin, maybe your mistakes may not be as flagrant as as David's. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you didn't take another man's wife. Maybe you didn't. You didn't take the man out. Maybe. Come on, somebody. Maybe you didn't do none of those things. But maybe you tried to make too much overtime. Y'all gonna get that after a while. In other words, you never spend any time at home. Y'all know it's, it's getting quiet in here. I'm yeah, it's getting real quiet in here. Yeah, yeah, maybe, just maybe, yeah, you didn't spend enough time with the, the children. They don't even know who you are because they'll sleep when you leave and they'll sleep when you come back home. Yeah, you got to talk about it. Close walk with 
with God. With God. Amen. Yeah, he had, he had, he had heart faith and not, not head faith. Some people have head faith. Now, there's a difference between heart faith and head faith. Because heart faith says, I want to please God. Yeah, yeah head faith says, I want to do what I want to do. But I don't please me. I got somebody in here. Huh? Yeah, God, God used him to defeat the enemies of Israel, Goliath, amen, somebody, because of his close walk with him. Yeah, yeah. But he didn't just come up with that kind of faith overnight. Yeah, yeah. God had tried, tried him earlier yeah. with the lion and with the bear and all of that. And he said, you know, if he did it once, yeah. he'll do it again. Yeah. Have I got any help in the yeah. house? And so the word showed that God counts on our human intuitiveness in order to carry out his will. Yeah. But we got to learn how to walk closely with him. Right. His faithfulness right. is one of the basic qualities of the character of God. Yeah. Our God, amen, the word says, great is thy faithfulness. Yeah. Our God is an awesome God. Have I got any help in here? Yeah, yeah. How many brothers know that David's source of courage was in his deep confidence in God? Amen. Yeah. 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 Courage, courage is always produced by faith. Yeah. Hallelujah. Solomon in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 says, Trust. That's one of my favorites. Yes. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Are y'all still in the rhythm? And lean not. But in all thy way, acknowledge him. And he will. Direct that path. Hallelujah, somebody. I like that. Amen, somebody. Yeah, yeah. He will direct your path. When we learn how to acknowledge him, him, him. Somebody shout him. Yeah, Noah, Noah was a man, uh, again, uh, who took God seriously. Did all that God commanded him to do. Have I got some help in here? Nehemiah was a man that was serious in godly faith. He said, I'm doing a great work. And I cannot come down. Matter of fact, Nehemiah put all of the naysayers into silence. Because he did what they said he could not do. Hallelujah. Job was a man of godly faith. Yeah. Out of all that he went through, he yeah. went through some things that were, again, tested him beyond his imagination. Yeah. The word of God says in all of that, oh. Job did not sin against God. Yeah. Are y'all still in there with me? Yeah. And then Abraham, a faithful man, who was willing, I didn't say he was a perfect man, a faithful man yeah. was yeah. willing to sacrifice yes, yes, yes. his own son yeah. in order to be obedient yeah. to the will of God. Yeah. By faith, God called him out of, I'm getting ready to get out of here, <laughs> out of his comfort zone yeah. to live in a land that he had promised him. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. God is calling some men today who will be faithful and will be humble willing to trust God in his kingdom willing to step out hallelujah and make a difference in our world do I have any Abrahams in the house today sometimes God has to call us out of our comfort zone but the thing about it is, are you willing to be obedient to the will of God? I, I like what the word says that Abraham left not knowing where he was going. All he knew is that God had called him to go. Is there any weaknesses in here that know that you got to learn how to be faithful under God? And I heard the word said, if you be faithful over a few things, God will add on to you. Is there any witness? 
witnesses here. Yeah. As I get ready to leave you now, God was impressed by this man's David, his humbleness and his thankfulness yeah. and his faithfulness. Yeah. Have I got a witness here? Yeah. But I'm glad that I look at the, my friend David, a man after God's own as I conclude on this great Father's Day in June 2000, hallelujah, and 18, I need a certain notice here that God is looking not only for humble men, God is not only calling for faithful men, but God is also calling for faithful men. I got a witness here. I'm glad when I look at the scripture here, he had given David the unction and the spiritual stamina to give him, to give him honor and praise. Can I just talk about it about three more minutes? And I'm going to my seat. But I'm glad that he's calling me in. 2018 to step up and give him the honor and the praise. You'll not be struck down where you can't give God praise. You'll not be so macho until you can't wave your hand. You'll not be so masculine until you can't clap your hand. You'll not so, and I got some witnesses in here so cocky until you can't give God the glory. Have I got any witnesses in here? Look somebody and tell them God is calling for some men of boldness. God is calling for men that has courage to give him thanks for all that he's done and God alright hallelujah I thank God that David released himself of all of the blunders that he had in his life and I heard him say the Lord is my life and my salvation hallelujah who Shall I fear the Lord is the strength of my life of whom shall I be afraid? I'm not worried about who's staring at me. I'm not worried who's whispering about me. I'm not worried about who I think they know something about me. I will Bless the Lord at all times, and His praise shall continually be in my mouth. In the Lord, I find somebody and tell them, God is calling for some worshiping me. God is calling for some praise in me.
about you. When you weren't thinking about him, he was thinking about you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 